Good morning and welcome to my channel, Sarah Show Me, where I showcase and preview fabric um, so that you can actually see what it looks like, whether you've already got some um, and just want to look and just want to see the actual colors to buy more with, or if you're considering it, or maybe now it's just now you like it. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So, um, this week's showcase is going to be Mother's Day flowers. So we had a subscriber. I asked what kind of themes in a previous show um, we thought might be good um, shows. And one of our subscribers mentioned uh, Mother's Day. And I hadn't thought about Mother's Day because there's not specific things that are Mother's Day. However, there are a gazillion fabric lines with, with flowers. And what do we usually get as mothers? Um, a lot of times we get flowers. So um, today's show is Mother Mother's Day um, and items that have some sort of flower or something similar um, in that in that regard. So um, I want to go over last week's giveaway winners. Um, so we did last week we did a show on low volume fabrics and um, let's see those winners are for the four nine show. Let's see, we have the blank quilting lower the volume layer cake. And that is um, one of the items that was given away. And then we have this free spirit fairy dust layer cake. And then we have for the 412 show, we have free spirit lower volume prints and Riley Blake hush. So if you've received a comment from me, then um, on one of your um, replies or comments rather, then um, you most likely want a gift. So be on the lookout for that. And um, those plus the last show, which was Timeless Treasures, will all go out, all of those will go out this coming Tuesday. Um, I had a death in the family and so um, I got a little um, caught up with, with having to deal with that. So I appreciate your patience, but those all those items will ship out um, on Tuesday. So let's get into um, how you can um, be um, entered into the giveaway for each show. So you can have one, um, you can win one item per show. There's usually two shows per week. Um, so in order to be included, you should be make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you comment on the video. And then also there's usually a question or two. Answer those questions um, because each question will get you an additional entry into the giveaway. So um, make sure you do that. And another thing is another um, subscriber had mentioned, make sure you share so that we can get our subscriber um, count up. We will be doing a 50 subscriber giveaway. There was a bunch of items from when I first started the channel back in January um, that weren't given away. And so um, those all will be given away once we hit the 50 subscribers. And I'll do another video on that at a different time. Um, so don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when I do upload videos, you'll get a notification. And then also, um, again, please share the page so that we can grow and I can give some of the stuff away that's hanging out <laughs> in my house. Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to talk about is a lot of times you see me with these rulers here. Um, you know, I, I use them to keep in frame, but you know, without these, I probably wouldn't be able to do quilting because I'm really bad at measurements. And so um, these are, uh, I love rulers. Doesn't have to necessarily be this brand. Um, I do like this brand, but um, not necessarily have to be this brand. What I do have a hard time figuring out are what these are. What maybe this one is a better one. Are what these little in betweens are. I can't remember that every time I want to quilt something, and so I used to shy away from anything that wasn't like one and a fourth or one and a half. Something really um, easy for me to remember quickly where it is on the ruler. Um, and so I used to shy away from those. And then somebody at one point had suggested getting 
this ruler and I love this ruler. So this is, I believe, a either an architect's ruler or a contractor's ruler. I got it from, um, I got it off of Amazon and I'll, I'll link it down below um, if I can, but it's called a Victor's Easy Read Ruler. And so just for instance, this is one inch. Let me make sure I'm in frame. This is one inch, so from seven to eight. And in between, I don't know if you can see that, but in between it has all of our typical quilting um, quilting um, measurements, like the fractions and whatnot. So you've got one eighth, one fourth, three eighths and a half. Then it has five eighths, three fourths and seven eighths. Those are usually the typical uh, measurements that we use. And um, now I don't have a problem doing um, piecing that requires these little bitty um, fractions. Um, and then it also has like one sixteenth. This is probably more for like a, you know, contractor or architect, but it has one sixteenth, three sixteenths, five sixteenths, seven sixteenths. I think that's nine. Nine, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen sixteenths. But again, these are the ones we usually use the whole, the half, the eighth, the fourth, the five eighths, three eighths, three fourths, seven eighths. So this ruler is amazing. I hope you guys can see that. Again, it's Victor ruler and it's called the Easy Read Ruler. And this particular one is 18 inches long. You can get, um, I believe you can get one that's lower or not as, as long, um, but yeah, I love it. It's also got on here, I didn't show you, it's also got um, centimeters. So it's also got a centimeter line um, here. So anyway, I thought I'd share that because I was using this the other day in one of my piecings and I was like, God, I love this ruler. It's really sturdy. Again, it's um, blue steel. Here's the thing on there. I feel like, you know, we can get these kind of rollers pretty much anywhere, whether it's this, whether it's Om Omnigrad or Omnigrad or I'm not sure what it's grid or whatever it's called. Um, but um, this one is... Whew, love this thing okay so let's get into today today we have mother's day and we're going to do one batik and one regular quilters cotton and again they're kind of based on flowers so um we will start with this one this is um, moda kate's garden gate and you know the time period is supposed to be 1830 through 1860. So for anybody who's new to my channel, um, I will say these are both giveaways. I, I, I do my best to remember to let you know which items in the show will be giveaways. Um, sometimes I show my own personal stash. Um, and so I, I try to make it clear that, you know, what is or, or isn't in the giveaway. Um, and they're always new. So, um, but if, unless I have my own of the same line, then I have to pop it open so that um, I can show you. And um, the other thing is I don't smoke and I have no pets. So if those things matter to you, there you go. Okay, so let's get started. This is Kate's Garden Gate. And I'm gonna just try to pull them out of here. Let's see if I can do that, yep. And nothing else like I always say at least some of the stuff will be off of it when you get it this is a pretty line I think flowers for this this week for Mother's Day so there's that one there's this this one and upside down that's a pretty vine that's pretty, pretty, pretty. This one is a soft pattern. These are very creamy beige-ish. Oh, that's pretty. Cream with some red dots.
all these little flowers. That's pretty. Might make a nice border. Now we're into more pink. Like a pinkish beige background. Another one. It's pink. More of a mauvey pink. Mauvey rose, maybe. This is a darker pink. You can see that here. And another darker. So we're we're moving out of this pinkish and into this reddish. It's a nice um, contrast between the both. Look at that. There's that one. The red, it's like a brick red. Almost maroon-like maybe. I try not to call it colors. This is, um, this is that um, same pattern as that other one, but in like a maroon. I don't know if you could see that well. You could see how sh how sheer it is too, right? You could see my hand behind it. That's kind of surprising for how dark it is. But good to know if that was something you were considering. Here's this one. And then that one. And that one. I'm doing my best to try to make these not so long um, because it really helps the channel if you watch the whole thing. Um, but it's also, you know, the point of it is also to actually show you each piece. Um, well, each print, not necessarily piece. So now here we have the blue. And was there one like that in the beige? Let's see. I don't see one that's similar. Maybe in pink? Nope. I don't think so. Oh, maybe this one. Is that it? Nope. It's a little bit different. So there's that one. And then there's this one. That's pretty. Soft. And then here's the blue with some beige. And this is a pretty blue. I try not to give them colors, names, because different sky blue may be a different, you know, I may think of it in a different way than somebody else. So, like when I said maroon, that may not necessarily be maroon to somebody. It could be more brick red, which are to me close, but you never know. There's a darker blue. So if you are trying to determine between the two, there you go. Mother's Day flowers. Is this one? This blue. This has the same pattern on it as that other one. Maybe that's better. So you can see the pattern on that. Very subtle, subtle, subtle. There's this one. This one. So if you were trying to determine between those, then we would pull those back out. And you could see those all together, maybe, if it was in those colors. See if I can find it. Here's one. Here's the other. 
this is like a pretty chocolate color maybe nice brown like this pretty pinkish red rose rosishy mauvey color and then here's this one again so if you were looking at those we could pull those back out and we'd have a couple there's this and this and this one this is one of the reasons that I like to do this because it's not often that we get to see all of them and compare them to each other. I think there's another one. Oh, I'll keep moving. If I find it, then I find it. But there's those. You can see them now. Okay. You know, most lines have the same print in different colorways, and so it's nice to be able to actually kind of see how they look up close so that you can get a good idea of which one you may really want to use. Okay, so that is uh, Kate's Garden by Moda, um, by Betsy Chekchan. I'm not sure how to say that, but Kate's Garden Gate. Very pretty. Okay, so there's that one. So since we're talking about flowers, what's your favorite flower? Question of the day. What is your favorite flower, type of flower? I like, I love irises. I think they're beautiful. If I, were to, if I were to have a limited amount of space, which I do, but if I were to have a limited amount of space and I was going to plant flowers, I would plant irises. Um, I also love... I also love tulips, and for smelling purposes, I love gardenias, and um, yeah, so what's your favorite type of flower? Okay, this is called Watercolor Blossoms. This is by Artis this is Artisan Batiks, and um, it's a Robert Kaufman uh, line. So let's look at this one. Again, these are batiks, so they have a different feel and they are uh, made a little bit differently than cottons. They're a little bit, um, they're woven tighter, so um, they don't stretch as much, at least not in my opinion. You may have a different opinion. Um, so, okay, it's a butterfly. And with batiks, this is something I don't think I've said. When people say wrong side and right side, when they're talking about quilting instructions, this is considered the right side because this has the pattern on it. This is considered the wrong side because you can see that this is the back and that's the front. You can see the difference clearly. Um, with the teaks, that's not really the, always the case. They look the same on both sides most of the time. I think there's only been a couple times that I've had one that you could kind of see wasn't as vibrant or didn't look quite the same. Um, and sometimes when they have metallics on them, um, the back will sometimes not be as metallic-y. So that's another um, pointer when it comes to batiks versus cottons. I don't, um, well, they're all cotton. Let me say that. They're all 100% cotton. This is just made differently. Um, so, anyway, I thought I would point that out because it makes a difference. One thing I don't have to worry about when I'm doing, when I'm sewing with batiks, you know, like 99% of the time is if I'm using the right or the wrong side. Okay, butterfly. If you can see that. Pretty butterfly on there.
blossoms or leaves in pink. And again, you can see here that both sides are the same. They don't change. It's a pretty peachy color. Not sure, just leaves. If this was ocean themed, I would think these would be like coral maybe, but it's not. Very pretty bright colors. You know, maybe your favorite flower is a lily pad flower. I don't know. That's pretty. Different colors in there. This is a tone, like a whitish color, whitish gray, maybe. Oh, and one of these. Let's see if you can see that better here. This is the same print as this, just in white with like a whitish gray there. <clears throat> this is a duplicate of this. this. This is the same as this one. Blue, my favorite. This kind of reminds me of a denim blue and with a greenish added to it. It's nice. So you can see here, the butterflies, there's a little bit of a green here and then this more of a denim blue. Then there's this, more of a grayish denim with some green, some green and some lighter blues. And then we've got some more butterflies. It's a little bit different of a pattern there. And then here's a lighter blue with these little blossoms called water water color blossoms so I'm not sure if these are supposed to represent blossom leaves or just leaves or what but there's that here is this is another butterfly it's a little bit harder to see on there but here's the butterfly got some greenish turquoise colors in there this is the same print as that there's the butterfly there are some more of those leaves and another blue here are this is moving into more of a purple purple with blue and green purple move it more of a lilac purple. Here's a darker purple we're moving into now. Purple, dark purple, bluish green. Look at that butterfly there. No missing that one, huh? That's pretty. And we've got these leaves here. Like that one. Here's another butterfly, different pattern. A little bit different than this pattern here. And then there's this one, which is right here. See if that makes a difference. I don't know if you can see the butterfly in there. It's pretty dark, but it's right here. And it's the same print as that one. So this print is repeated maybe four times. I didn't keep count or track of that, but maybe more actually, quite a bit. There's that one. It's a pretty color, my color blue. A butterfly again. Nope. 
And then this is the last one in that other butterfly pattern with more of a black background. This and this have black backgrounds. It's definitely not blue. So there's that one. Okay, that's it for, for today's show. So this again is watercolor blossoms. And this again is Kate's Garden. Be sure to subscribe, comment, share, like. Don't forget to like the video. Um, when you do those things, it helps push the video out to other people. So hopefully we can grow from that. Okay, have a nice week. See you on Wednesday. Bye.